you um, have done some other kind of N of one studies. You were talking about having been to a research facility and looked at the amount of oxygen going to your brain when you did LIVO2. Can you tell us a little bit more about that experience? Right. American College of Sports Medicine. We were at a conference in Denver, and uh, another company was there called Artinus. All right, and they had a blood oxygen sensor that would actually shine into the brain. So it would go like three centimeters deep. And what was fascinating about this particular device is it would look at the blood going in, how much oxygen it had, and it would look at the blood coming out, how much oxygen it had. So you could actually do the difference, and you could measure how much oxygen the brain was actually using. So in sports terms that's a vo2 measurement literally and we were able to watch it in real time so what i did was we we hooked my brain up on my on my right side and we looked inside and we looked how much oxygen my brain was using as i did the protocol what was fascinating is that my brain oxygen use went up between 25 and 30 percent from the beginning of the protocol to the end of the protocol, and it was durable. So this might be part of why you can so confidently say you'll be smarter when your heat, feet hit the floor after using this device. Well, that was a you know that was kind of a, a correlation um, of that effect, you know, which is we were actually look you know we were able to correlate the before after, but we've been doing neurological panels for years, okay, and seeing that you know, people that do this protocol will have an increase in neurological performance. I mean, there's always the subjective, which is, you know, if you feel calm and, you know, mentally sharp, you're relaxed. And that's pretty much the way everybody feels when they come off. Uh, Just like, yeah, I feel good. 